in order for the future of human society to be society to be sustainable, the money system has to be sustainable. We won't have sustainability until we have a stable monetary system. So rather than going out on the street and waving my flag or getting angry or smashing things, um, I saw a much more productive outlet in designing and implementing these kinds of systems that would achieve those goals but without all the political and social mess. About 10 years ago, I started a database called the Complementary Currency Database, which encouraged people to list their, their systems in a statistical way. We've collected data from about 300 systems worldwide, but through the research group, uh, we, can, we can say with some accuracy that there is about 4,600 systems in the world today. Oh, I, d I don't have an opinion. I think the, we're still at a stage where we need to experiment a lot more. So the more types of systems that are out there, um, the better for, for, yeah, for everyone. Uh, I think also that certain kinds of systems will do better in certain areas or in certain communities than other types of systems. And so, on, yeah, and that er so for that reason, I don't think that there's a, a particular system that's the best system to adopt. The example that I have is, uh, is the new Spar Pass, which was um, a way of giving people credits for um, engaging in environmentally responsible behavior. So if, if you um, took public transportation instead of driving a car, or you rode a bicycle instead of driving a car, or you recycled your uh, waste properly, then you would receive credits which you could spend on other public facilities. So the government would save money in some ways and they would, that would be used as an incentive for people to change their behavior in a better way. Uh, Stroh and COIN have been thinking very uniquely about how to uh, find solutions to these problems in ways that, are, that make a lot of um, sense in the real world, I guess you could say. They're not just dreams that people tr want to make real. Uh, they, they put a lot of um, investment in research and t technological development and uh, involve academics and collaborations with government and local governments, uh, regional governments, so that these systems can be successful and have a measurable impact on, for the societies that they serve. So in this way, we could say that what COIN and, and STRO are doing are trying to, are developing systems that in a way help the government to do its job better. And it's, it's unusual to be, to be thinking of it that way, but I think a lot of governments are starting to realize that what COIN and STRO are doing is, is actually helping to make the economy better, which is actually helping them to do their job better. Mm -hmm.